Danny Solihull on Saturday. What's your thoughts ahead of the game? Yes, we've obviously we've had what I'd say probably three and a half performances that have probably justified more than what we've got. And the, the message has been this week that those need to be turned into points. And that's just that's simply as, as, as it stands. That's what we need to do. We need to turn the, the positives that we have, especially from Saturday in Los County, and actually put some points on the board because I think once once we do that, I think every, everything settles down. The, the, the confidence in the group is there because there, there is a belief that we're, we're better than what, what our points total showed us. But until you actually stick them on the board, you're always going to cause you a little bit of an element of doubt. And I think it just gives everyone a bit of breathing space to say, do you know what, actually, we are we are making progress. We are doing things in the right way. We are happy with what we've, what we've done so far with regards to the preparations and everything. It's just those small margins and details. So that's got to be put right right tomorrow against Solio. Because of course you mentioned it to the fans as well. Obviously you said you know stick with you, stick with the team that you put in place, the young squad we've got because they will develop and they will learn how to how to win games. Yeah, I'll be honest, it's not about me. It's about the boys, the, the lads. We've got a young squad that of I can I can only say I don't I don't I don't think anyone can work harder than what they are. They they they're, they're really trying to to understand what we're trying to do and get it right. And I know that, that as I said, the points total doesn't say. This doesn't say it, but actually, you watch the games back, you do the analysis on it, which we do, and there's, there's subtle improvements in, in every area. And hence the fact we started to score goals now. We look creative. We created just as many chances as Notts County did. They had a lot more of the ball on Saturday. We created. The, we actually probably, I'd say, created better chances against Notts County, which goes to show that the work we're doing is, is starting to come to fruition now. They need to put points on the end of it, and, and the boys know that. And I think Kins has, has, has had a good chat with the lads with, with Kev. That listen. Potential is great, but at some point it has to be achieved, and, and I think that's, that, that is what the message going through the group is again. And the, the supporters need to stick, stick, stick with the players, get behind the players, and give them that encouragement that you know what, when when they do win a tackle, when we do when we do press and win the ball back, when we do create an opportunity, whether we score or not, get behind the lads, let them, let them feel what it's like to really to feel that atmosphere at the end. You sort of did feel that as well when we scored against the Oval. You know, Corey, Corey scored, and obviously he's got three goals now ready for you bringing him in. It must be positive to have him getting in, getting in the goals. Yeah, look, I, I think that, and that, that's that's why I want want the supporters to reiterate that atmosphere because even and I, and I mentioned it the other day, we were talking to some of the younger players that have been involved in the games, especially the home games. They said it's. It, 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 it makes you want to run harder when you hear them, when you hear the fans get behind you and get behind the players. And our, our supporters are outstanding. I mean, the, the, the group that travelled up to Notts County on Saturday, the noise they made compared to the, the, the 5,750 other fans in the ground, you, like, was, was unbelievable. So, from our perspective, if we can make it a collective, and, and I've always said it all along about the we mentality, if we can keep that we mentality going, this group would be more than fine. Because, of course, you mentioned the young players there, obviously, young Ellis, Alfie, Tommy Willard, all getting involved and having a part to play in it. It must be a positive for you to see them continue to develop. Yeah, look, we, 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 back, we back our young players. We have to back the young players um, because we, I would rather give a young, all-the-shot, homegrown player the opportunity to go and prove himself and earn a career than go and get a loan player from somewhere. It's just going to be a squad player. I don't see the point of that. I'd rather bring in, if we're going to bring a lone player in, they've got to be someone that goes straight in the team, basically, in my opinion. And because we've got good young players, and that's my, my the conversations all the time with agents and clubs and stuff. Is he, is he going to come and start every week? Because if he is, then we consider it. If he's going to be a squad player, then actually I'll back, I'll back our boys for that. And, and I know that one, that their, their potential is, is high, but two, I think they've already shown that they're, they're capable of performing at this level. Of course, look at the players who are continuing to come back from injury as well. Obviously, you've got Mo, you know, George Wass also played half an hour as well as he continues to come back from full fitness. How how will they get on? We're getting there. We're, ne we're nearly at, in, in regards to. I mean, we've only got a small squad to a certain degree, but within reason, we've nearly got a full full group to pick from. So that's that's what the aim is. And then do you know what? We'll see where we are in in two or three three weeks' time to see whether we need to potentially look at adding to that. But as it stands at the moment, I see enough in the players we've got. To, to, to do well and win games. Looking at Solly Hole, obviously they're a well-respected team at this level. We played them many times before. Last season they proved a massive test for us in the league. Obviously we beat them in the trophy. What are you expecting from them? Yeah, I think the home game. I thought I thought they were very good uh, away from home. We should have got something out of the game. It was a poor performance from us and a really really poor goal to concede. Obviously we were very good against them first half in the cup. Not so great second half. Um, but look, I think they're, they're another team that. 
I'm pretty sure that the owners would want them to be in and around it come the end of the season. And it's it's just unusual that the way the fixtures have fallen that we seem to, they're the only teams we seem to be playing in a minute. But um, but no, look, it's a great change for the lads. Look, they're going to come. Neil Wiley's a very good manager. Um, I, I, I've got a lot of respect and time for him. And I know that they're going to be a difficult opposition tomorrow. However, I genuinely believe if we can build on what we did on Saturday, that we, we can win the football match. Exactly that, you know, like you mentioned, a change of manager, Neil Ardy going in there from Notts County previously. So, you know, we know that Neil Ardy is a good test and a tough test for you as a manager. Yeah, well, he's, he's an experienced guy and, and he's brought in some good players and, and obviously he's got a style of football that, that, that complements that. And from our perspective, that it's a great test. One of the things we've said to the lads is that we, especially these first nine or ten games, we've got some really tough, tough opposition. But trying to shift the mindset on looking at it as tough opposition and more as what an exciting challenge and the fact that, you know what, you can, let's, up, let's upset a few people, let's, let's, let's blow a few people's accumulators. And Because we would, in most of those games, we are going to be the underdogs. And you know what? We've proven in the past that if, if, if you put us in that position, we can come out fighting. And the bottom line for our lads is now that fight has got to result in some points. Are you in the shop? Sign up below. Click here for the next video and click here to subscribe. Stop.